Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little haul for you. Um, it's not a bunch of stuff just because a lot of the things that I've recently purchased I left at home. Um, I went on a trip recently and um, I just came back on Monday. Really short trip, I went to Disneyland. Um, we left on Friday and we got back on uh, Monday night. So really quick Disneyland trip. So worth it, so much fun, exhausting, but so worth it. Um, I love Disneyland. If you didn't know that, I'm a huge Disney fanatic. I pretty much tell people I'd go, Dis go to Disneyland or Disney World over Vegas, pretty much anywhere, um, except for me out of the country. But um, I really love Disney, so that's my trip of choice. Um, so I went there. We also were able to go to a Lakers game. We went to the OKC Lakers game, which was by far the best first um, Lakers game I could have asked for. Um, maybe my only Lakers game I ever go to. We had really good seats, very expensive, but um, so worth it. So um, I just have a little haul for you. I didn't really get any thing in Disneyland much. Um, this is more um, before I went on my trip. And yeah, um, I didn't buy much makeup in Disneyland. I didn't buy anything. Disneyland, most of the things I bought were for my family and friends. So, anyways, I'm just going to get into it. The first thing, um, I went to Sephora, and the first thing that I got was the Tarte, um, came in here, um, eyelash curler, and, um, uh, my mom actually got this, uh, a couple months ago, or maybe a month ago, and she, uh, she, she watches YouTube all the time, so she found that, uh, there are good reviews, um, about this eyelash curler, which is why she bought it. I tried it before, um, she took me to the airport, um, to go to Disneyland uh, last week, and I really liked it, so I figured I'd pick one up. Um, I like it. I like the difference. Um, it doesn't have the holes that you put your fingers in and um, pinch it together, but it's just a kind of a clamp kind of thing, and I do like that. It is very curved. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very curved. Uh, I don't know what this is called, where you place it on your eyelid, but it curls really well. My mom says she has trouble sometimes it pinches her, so she has to be careful. But um, when I did it, it gets just very close to the root and um, curls it very nicely. Yeah, so it really, it curls very nicely. Um, it doesn't pinch me, but I can see how it might pinch um, my mom. My mom has very flat um, eyelids, so I could see how it pinch her. I was using the e.l.f. one. And this is the one that's a dollar, and my mom thought it was really good, or thought it'd be good because of the reviews. But, let me show you what this thing does, okay? So if you pinch it together hard enough, it's probably not going to do it on camera. Oh, there. So, you pinch it together hard enough, um, as you can see here on the curler, this hinge part came out of the, um, where it connects. And look, I'm not even pinching it together but it's still clamped together. So you can imagine the horror that I faced when I curled my lashes, pinched it together, and it got stuck. And it literally, if I let go of this, it would have been hanging on my lashes. And I was like screaming for my boyfriend, telling him, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And I was so scared that all my lashes were gonna be pulled out. But luckily, I was able to like um, wiggle it, wiggle, wiggle them out. But I was traumatized, and I need an eyelash curler, so I was using this, but very, very carefully, because it did happen again, um, where I was pumping it, and look, it gets stuck again. So I literally have to like pull apart for it to come down, and then you can see how it's not connected anymore right here in this space. So yeah, a dollar, not well spent, but um, whatever, so I'm glad. I'm glad I got another one. This was $15 from Sephora. Comes with an extra padding. And it also comes with a free sample of their mascara, which I think I've tried before. It's the Lights Camera Lashes. And it's not anything special. But I do like this eyelash curler. So I'm glad I got a new one. And now I'm just going to toss this one. And it's gone. <laughs> um, the other thing I got from Sephora is the... Um, Amazonian Clay, of course, another foundation. The Amazonian Clay 12-hour full coverage foundation, um, SPF 15 by Tarte. And um, I watched a recent haul from Fresh X Soul. Um, I love her. 
I'll keep put her link down there. She it's just a she hasn't been on YouTube in a while and she finally made a video and um she had I think it was her favorites. Or was it I think it was favorites. And she's been using this Amazonian clay um tart foundation and raved about it. And I am a sucker for long wear foundations, full cover foundations, um, oil free, waterproof. This is waterproof makeup. So it says long wear makeup, oil free makeup, long wear makeup. Um, sorry, waterproof makeup. And this was $35 or $38. But it comes with 1.7 fluid ounce of product, which is. Which is a. I don't know why she keeps screaming, which is a 0.7 um, ounce more than regular foundations. Almost all the foundations I have, if not all of them, are 1.0 fluid ounce. So great buy. I can't wait to try this. Um, I got in it in the color tan, as you can see it's tan. I don't know where it says the name of the color, but let's just pray this is tan. So anyways, it is a squeeze tube. It's like the um, Laura Mercier um, Makeup Forever, not dual matte, but Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. It's a squeeze tube. So it is good. Um, it doesn't have a pump, but this is sanitary enough for me. So very good. Um, well, I don't know if it's very good, but I'm glad I bought it, and I'll let you know. I'll do another foundation series video on that, of course. Um... So two Tarte products. I don't think I have any Tarte products, but um, I was looking at their products and they're very... Wow, I really like them. Um, okay, so for lipsticks, I have four NYX matte lipsticks here. And I was very interested in after watching um, Judy's video a while back. And um, so I purchased four of them. The four colors that I have here, uh, first is Natural, and this is MLS09. This is natural. Now I'll swatch it for you. So that's natural right there. It's very pigment pigmented. All these colors are super pigmented and very matte, um, very long wearing. Um, I'll put in a snippet of me with these colors on as I go, but this is natural. And um, like I said, very long wearing, very creamy. Um, they're not very drying. Um, they can be a little, but not too, too bad. The next one I have here is number MLS11 in T Rose. And this is the swatch of it, or this is the color, and this is the swatch of it. So that it's very close to uh, natural. So that's T Rose right here, and then this is natural. And then this is me wearing T Rose on my lips. And um, this one, um, they all kind of, when you first apply them, they kind of have a sheen. But when they dry, it's very matte. Um, and I really love these color and the pigmentation on it. The next color I have here is Sweet Pink. And it, was ML, and it is MLS 17. This is a very bright fuchsia, very pretty pink. I really like this color. Um, that's a swatch of it right there very very pretty blue based um, pink and this is um, me wearing it very pretty I like matte colors um, for bold lips and then the last one I have here is MLS 10 and it is perfect red and it is exactly what the name says it is a perfect red just like the perfect red color for your lips and that is it right there this one is also pretty pretty blue based red so very good um, for people with skin tones um, pink undertones so but I'm sure what yellow undertones could wear this as well and get away with it because Judy looked beautiful with it on and I believe she's a yellow undertone so those are the NYX matte lipsticks that I have um, if you want me to do a full review on them or if you have any I really wanted to ask if you have any suggestions of what um, NYX products I should uh, purchase next because um, I'm on the hunt of purchasing NYX products and I don't know what to purchase please leave a comment below and let me know what you love um, and I will try and pick those up okay as for jewelry um, I have a few here the first ones I have here are my Jumit pieces 
And this one's an old one. This one's the bowl. Um, this is pretty long time ago, but that's what I'm wearing today. And this other one was in April's um, showroom, showcase, whatever. And it is the Ameri Cinema Americano bracelet, I think something like that. But it's the chain bracelet, and I love this bracelet for stacking. I wear this almost every day. I just absolutely love I was on the search for a good chain bracelet. And when I saw this on Jewel Mint, I was like, I gotta have it. So I got that. So really, really pretty, very well made. I really do like both of these pieces are very well made. Um, the other piece that I got from Jewel Mint is the leather wrap bracelet. I don't know what it's called, but this is what it looks like. And it has all the different studs on it. And uh, this bracelet looked a lot, it looked a, like it was a lot better made um, in the picture. It's very, it is leather. But it's very flimsy and doesn't feel very, like, high, of high quality. Um, I don't think I would have paid $30 for this if I saw it in a store, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's it's not what something I recommend. It is nice for stacking. It is nice on. But just the quality of it, you could find a much better leather wrap bracelet for cheaper, I'm sure. Um, so, not something that I suggest you guys jump all over. Um, I also got two BCB Generation um, bracelets and I got these on Amazon because my Macy's were only had like single or taken and I'm not really into all that single taken junk. Um, I don't think my boyfriend would be too happy if I wore a single one. <laughs> so I got these two from Amazon and this one is Tough Love and it has a, it's a two-toned um, mint green bracelet and these are the bracelets that just snap and it has the lettering. So this one is Tough Love and then I got a red leather one that says True Love because we all know Tough Love is True Love. <laughs> so those are the two um, BC Gener BCB Generation um, bracelets I got. I would like more but um, Amazon didn't have that great of a selection either so what are you gonna do? The last three bracelets I have here aren't really a haul because my mom made them for me. But um, she actually watched Nikki's um, tutorial on the ribbon chain bracelets and she made two, three of them. So she made one with um, two different bluish green colors, one that's all white and then one with blue and pink. So those are the bracelets and these are also really good for stacking as well. So thank you mom for making them because she knows I have no time on my hands. And thank you Nikki for showing her out with your video. And I'll leave her link, um, Nikki the Brat, um, that's her YouTube name uh, down below. She's another fellow Hawaii guru. Um, she's from Maui though, so I'm from Oahu. But um, she's from Maui and um, she has super good DIY stuff. Really good, she's so creative and so good at it I could never so my mom can because she's really good at arts and crafts so she made these for me so if you want to check out how to make them I will leave the link down below um, oh and one thing that I got with one of my jewel mint purchases this month were these uh, I don't know rubber band wrap kind of things they're elastic and you can use them as hair ties or as bracelets I kind of like to use them as bracelets and this one's an actual like um, headband, like how I'm wearing, but I don't even know if this thing will fit around my head because I have such a huge head. But uh, you could use it as another um, uh, wrap. So I really like them as bracelets, not so much as hair ties, but they they could go, go they could be used as hair ties if you needed one and you only had your bracelet. So that's nice. But that came free with one of my jewel mint purchases. So, I think that's it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And if you have any questions, concerns, concerns, what have you, requests, please leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.